So I've seen several videos about how to program the Baofeng GT3 radio using the supplied cable. Uh, the problem is with a new Windows 10 laptop, a lot of those procedures didn't work. The drive couldn't get the driver to work, so I could never get the software to work. The Baofeng uh, software itself, I can't get to work on my laptop. It won't even open it. it; just flashes, and I have to go into Task Manager to close it. So I'm uh, going to use Chirp software and the prolific 3.2.0.0 driver for the cable and I'll show you how to set that all up. So the first thing you want to do is uh, of course plug in the cable and then plug in the connectors to your GT3. The radio should be off so we'll get that connected. Next you'll go to your device manager however you want to get to that it's through the control panel or in this case you can just type it in and open it and what we're going to be looking for in the device manager is the cable which will be in the ports section so if we expand the ports you'll see here's my prolific cable right here the problem that I run into originally is if you're on the original driver which is what you will get when you first plug in your cable Windows 10 automatically installs driver which I think is 3.7 um, but it's too new we actually have to roll this back to an older version so uh, what we will do here is we'll open this. In this case, it says it's working properly, um, but if you're getting that error with the little yellow triangle, it'll probably say it's not connected. So what you'll have to do in that case is you go to the driver tab, click update driver, and then click browse my computer for the driver software. And what you'll look for, and in my case, what I have here is this Win Prolific uh, 3.200. So that's the driver you want to use. So you want to roll it back to that other version to get the correct driver on there first of all. The second thing that you want to look for here is in my case COM4. That's the port that it's using. You may have a different number there but you want to remember that number because we will use that for Chirp. So once you have your driver set up what I will do now is open up Chirp. So before you turn your radio on while it's still connected we're going to go to radio download from radio and we'll get these settings so you'll notice here COM4 that's where you'll need to remember the COM number that you had through the device manager for what port you're on vendor is the Baofeng and then for model even though this is the GT3 um, we don't get the GT3 option um, you do not want to use the GT3 3WP I'm using the UV5R which seems to work pretty well once you have all that ready turn on the radio um, the other thing to notice um, between the two modes, I originally had this, uh, I think, in the MR mode here. Um, it wasn't connecting when I clicked OK. It would give me an error, so I had to switch it to the VFO mode um, or vice versa. One of these modes is whichever mode you have it in, you want to switch it to the uh, other one if it doesn't work. But once you have it connected, you click OK. The green light will come on. That will let you know that it's working. And once it opens up, it will display any of the channels you currently have programmed in the radio. So I have quite a few programmed in already. Um, if you're just doing this for the first time, your list will probably be blank. So here's all of my frequencies with the channel location on here. And you can make your changes. You can change the names on these, add your frequencies. I um, was also told over uh, from watching another video or another comments that were made is based on your channel some of these you may not want in high power you can change these to low power and the other one is under duplex if you want these to turn to off based on the type of channel that you're listening to so radio frequencies or whatever and you don't want to transmit if you go under the duplex column and you click on this you can change it to off if you want to so that it doesn't transmit and then once you're done you'll just go back up to radio and then hit upload to radio We'll go ahead and do that so I can show you what it looks like. This box pops up. Just leave the settings and click OK. Then you'll get the faster blinking this time. And then when it's done, the little clone progress window bar will go away. You can disconnect your cable and your radio should be working with all the channels you've programmed in. So hopefully that works and good luck.